We've had the very good fortune of working on a project for the Stony Brook University uh, out on Long Island to help develop an advanced energy research and technology center. A place where students can come together with academia and uh, government to, and corporations uh, can all come together in one building in a very flexible nature. In a platinum lead energy research facility, I think it will be the very first one on the, in, in, in New York, the first uh, lead platinum laboratory. So it's been an exciting process because when we began, the dean and his faculty didn't really exactly know what sort of spaces they were going to need to do these kinds of research. We developed a methodology for helping them understand the outcomes of the organizations in their part of the world, what kind of research they would like to do, and then we helped them look backwards and program to the sorts of specific laboratory types they might need to create those outcomes for their sponsors. And it was a really engaging process because it was a real sense of discovery as they were thinking, well, what would benefit economically the students of the state of New York and the state of New York and the corporations that that live here and that are helping fund it. And to work that back to the space and then create very flexible spaces across that spectrum at different scales. And I think that flexibility is what really, oh, I suppose, signifies or maybe makes unique the kind of work being done in energy research. Because nobody knows tomorrow or next year what exactly that science is going to be. 